Greetings, folks. Well, I got this book here. It's called Love Wins by Rob Bell. There was a big controversy when the thing came out, and I uh, I didn't want to make any comment on it till I read it. I didn't want to buy it either. I'm cheap, and plus, after I had a flood here a few years back, which wiped out my library, I don't really buy books anymore. I rely on the library, so I put in the thing for interlibrary loan, and uh, about eight months later, it arrived. It's got to go back, so. Um, I just thought I'd throw a few comments up on it. I I thought it, it, it had uh, a number of good points, and I can see where uh, the controversy would exist. Uh, Rob brings up some issues, like he uh, throws a wrench into the Dante Inferno view of, of hell, and, and I think that's a good thing. And uh, he also brings up some of the things in, in the Greek, and I, I think that's good too, like, uh, you know, Gehenna and the garbage dump and da 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 similar things. I mean, that that's all just good theology. But then he goes a bit beyond that. You know, I was concerned, you know, based upon stuff that I had read and seen by other people. Oh, it's terrible, you know, hell doesn't exist. And I don't get that out of this book. I see that he's trying to be more true to the scriptures, but I think he's gone a bit too far. It's being downplayed a, a bit. Then again, it's uh, I think it's more of a, a historical uh, view of, of hell and a, probably a more orthodox one. There's an awful lot of stuff that, that I read in here that seems to, to correlate with C.S. Lewis, with uh, Chesterton, and, and then we can go all the way back to Augustine. So I thought it was cool in that he brings to light that, you know, people are going to ask questions. Uh, you know, and specifically, is one of the things he said in here I thought was uh, was was pretty cool. I've written this book because the kind of faith Jesus invites us into doesn't skirt the big questions about topics like God and Jesus and salvation and judgment and heaven and hell, but takes us deep into the heart of them. Many have these questions, Christians, people who aren't Christians, people who were Christians but can't do it anymore because of questions about these topics. People think Christians are delusional and profoundly misguided. Yeah, I run into a lot of those folks, and, and yeah, you know, I mean, they're, they're stumbling blocks and such that uh, our failure to address and engage uh, mysteries of the faith and uh, uh, to disregard questioning, I think that's creating stumbling blocks, and, and Rob kind of shreds those, and, and I think that that's good. I mean, it shouldn't just be those that are planning to go to seminary that have these discussions till midnight you know talking about the problems of evil and it never makes it into the pew you know that that doesn't make sense it shouldn't just be a, a thing for people that are are training to be pastors or whatever or Sunday school teachers or who is you know who's ever interested in that um, but that's that does seem to be a case a, a lot of the time you know, I, I, I the questioning is is a good thing. I think the book book is good from that standpoint. Now, I I don't like some of the things that, uh, um, well, some of his uh, his Greek that he used. Uh, it presents some pretty minority views, and doesn't. Uh, quantify them as that now I guess it's okay to say hey you know if, if you believe da 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 you know you you're still can be uh, included within uh, Christianity um, or if you're questioning this or that that's okay and it's probably a good thing to question things to kind of disregard uh, history and, and common beliefs I mean uh, Origen certainly, he was one of the guys in the early church. He came up with uh, uh, universal reconciliation. It's, it's a form of pretty hardcore universalism. And he was condemned as a heretic for it. But by the same token, the reason that we have the Bible is because a lot of Origen's work. So, <laughs> But it, he was condemned as a heretic. So, I mean, I, I think it would be appropriate to... To have included that information um, instead of just you know let, throwing it out there. But again, the, the questioning part is is good. Um, he also talked about uh, 
you know, uh, the penal substitution theory. And, you know, I mean, when's the last time you went out and sacrificed something to a god in order to win favor? And, yeah, I mean... <laughs> So we, we try and use penal substitution atonement theory as an evangelism tool and people go, what? Because it makes no sense. It's far removed from our culture. You know, people don't do that about the only thing we have is maybe karma where, you know, my name is Earl and the guy is going around trying to do good stuff to atone for, you know, all the stuff he did when uh, he was a criminal or whatever. Uh, but so that's that's good, and I, I I think it was good that he brings up the whole bit about Dante's Inferno. There's, you know, not some guy in the red suit with three horns and uh, uh, playing Pink Floyd backwards in the center of the earth. You know, the the caricatures of of fictional texts and the works of literature and art. You know, th that's not scriptural. Um, but that's oftentimes people's view of of hell and of Satan, and that's that's a problem. And and I think Rob Bell brought to light some things there, but then he went a bit too far to the point that hell is almost almost uh, you know downplayed in its entirety, and and that's what I see as is a problem. Again, I th I thought the book was you know it's not earth shattering by any means, but there are some some good bits in here and there's some problems if you have a very closed in uh, absolutist type faith and you absolutely know the destiny of event you know of the unevangelized even though scripture can present about eight different theories on that but you only hold to inclusivism or exclusivism you're gonna have a problem with the book uh, if you hold to hell as being a Dante's Inferno thing, and every time uh, uh, hell is mentioned in a contemporary uh, translation, you believe that's what it is instead of what the Greek and and uh, you know the actual words of Scripture say, you're going to have a problem with it. Um, if you're into theology, and you're going to have a problem, like I had a problem with it because of what I felt was. Uh, um, you know, kind of some sloppy or uh, a failure to present all sides of, of an argument uh, that that you're going to have a problem with it. But the fact that it brings questions to light and it's okay to ask questions, yeah, it's it's a cool book. It's it's worthwhile from that point of view. That's about all I got to say on it. Love wins, Rob Bell.